We're in the West Hollywood district, just finishing up this full foundation replacement for this client on his 1920s Spanish style home. I'm Aaron Clitheroe with Alpha Structural. I'm one of the vice presidents of development. I was initially called out to this property to address some distressed cracks in the walls, flooring issues, and general movement over time. One of the common signs of distress on a foundation is cracks in walls, door frames are out of square, sloping floors. Our solution here was to replace the foundation in full. After my initial assessment, we had to come up with a design to best fit the homeowner's need, not only short term, but long term for the house. We came up with a design to fully replace this 1920s foundation with a new up to code seismically reinforced foundation system. We also installed about 50 feet of new post pier and beams with approximately 20 new post pier foundations. And what that's going to do is bring this house up to seismic codes for today's current standards on a clay-based environment. We installed deeper footing, steel reinforced concrete foundations, fully anchored to the floor system. So now this house is seismically built up to current coats. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll go take a walkthrough of the exterior and see what we did. So this is the front of the house. And the reason why you see exposed new concrete here and nothing here is because on this portion of the house, to avoid removing the stairs, what we did is we put an internal sister wall behind this staircase that is fully attached to the floor frame. And the reason we did this is to try to navigate this in the easiest manner where we didn't have to remove existing hardscapes or ornamental features of the house that would be hard to replicate. So here you see a sister foundation and then a full foundation replacement on this side of the house. As we head down the side yard and to the rear, we'll see more of this foundation replacement. So as you can see along the side of the house here, this is a full length, full foundation replacement. All executed board form concrete, new mud sills, new LTP4 brackets that are tying the floor system down to the foundation and giving it some seismic rigidity. This was an existing curb here with a drainage system along this trench. And we were actually able to remove this 1920s foundation without disturbing the existing system that was put in place. So his drainage didn't have to get rerouted. His curb didn't have to be rebuilt. The reason why this curb was here in the first place was to mitigate the amount of moisture that was seeping in through the concrete through poor landscaping, um, a lack of a drainage system. So the client actually preemptively had installed a drain system. If you could come back here, you'll be able to see there's a big white pipe at the corner of the house there. And what that's doing is that's tying all of this water into this flattened trench drain to collect some of the surface water. So all of this water goes into the trench drain and it funnels into a pipe that goes all the way through this concrete strip and ultimately daylights at the street. That in conjunction with our new foundation system should keep this foundation free from moisture or mitigated moisture throughout the years. So this is the other side of the house where we also replace the full foundation on this side. Now the process of replacing a foundation is very technical. We have to not only make sure that the house is safe during construction, uh, make sure our guys are safe, but the tenants have to live here as well. So what we did is the first step is we get inside of this crawl space and we install large timber beams along the whole length of this foundation. And what that does is it supports the floor and allows us to ultimately remove the existing foundation. So the shoring goes in, and then once the shoring is in place and the house is safely and secure, we then remove the existing foundation. And this foundation was a combination of old concrete stem walls that were very shallow, um, along with taller raised cripple walls. So what we did is we took out the cripple walls, we jackhammered out the existing footing all along this trench here. Now this, this stretch is about 60 feet long. The entire foundation was about 196 feet. So imagine we had to trench all the way around the entire footing and to just to remove the existing foundation. In doing so, at, at some point, we had to lift this house. So this perimeter wall actually was sloping quite a bit, probably in the means of two to three inches. So what we did is we got underneath the crawl space using our timber beams and we jacked this floor up to try to improve the flatness of the floor system, not only on this side, but the opposite side as well. And then what we do is we set up our sill plate. This is called a mud sill, and this is, sits directly under the floor system, and ultimately it's gonna be the buffer between the floor and the top of the concrete. 
And this is always a treated plate. You, don't, you do not want to put regular timber in touch with concrete because moisture becomes an issue and it can ultimately rot away. So once this mud sill is in, we then install our anchor bolts. And our anchor bolts go typically every six feet on a single story family like this. Those get drilled into the mud sill and are set and ready for the concrete pour. Once the anchor bolts are in, we then install all of our rebar. We do both horizontal rebar going inside the wall and vertical bars, which go about every two feet. Once that rebar is in place, we then have to come up with a design to create this finished look. And we do that by means of board forms. And board forms are timber on both sides, which are about eight inch thick. And we create a, a form system, which then gets braced to the exterior. And this is gonna be our set and our form to then pour this wall so that when it gets poured, it becomes completely flat and straight, as you can see here. Once the forms are in place, we're ready for concrete. Concrete day comes in, big truck pulls up, and we pour this concrete all the way around the perimeter foundation. The process of this whole entire job takes about five to six working weeks. Um, each phase takes its own uh, amount of time. The guys are here all day using this site as a staging area. We use the backyard as staging area to, to put dirt in. Um, we have to put a big low boy, a, a, a bin in the front yard to haul all of that soil down the driveway and just generally keep the site clean so that the homeowner doesn't really feel like they're in a construction environment while they're living here at the same time. So cleanliness is actually one of the biggest things here is at the end of the day, this job site has to look like almost nobody was here other than a, a small staging area. So there's a lot of uh, coordination involved, supervision, eyeballs on site, the foreman has to be in tune with what's happening with the homeowner in constant communication with his supervisor, making sure that at the end of the day, the homeowner is satisfied and, and not distressed during this kind of stressful process. So that's pretty much the gist of a full foundation replacement. Now, if you follow me down here, we could complete our full 360 degree view of the entire perimeter of the foundation. This is the right side perimeter. As we walk out here beyond the chimney, we're gonna wrap around to the front of the house where we first started. So you can see as we get beyond the chimney, this is the end piece of this side perimeter. This is all fully replaced. Now, if you wrap around this corner, we're back at the front of the house. So this is the other side of the front of the house. And along this wall line, we replace this whole front foundation on their living room. At Alpha Structural, we specialize in anything structural. We're a design build construction firm that does all the engineering in-house and the construction. If you're experiencing any distress to your home, such as cracked walls, cracked drywall, sloping floors, door frames that are out of square, feel free to give us a call. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy videos like this, like and subscribe for more.